very doable. You just have to know how to look at it, how to pull the, the knot apart and look at it and see what you're trying to do. It's the process of solving things to say, here's now what I need, here's what I have, and you start putting it together. First step is which one is the not hold forever property? Well, it's obvious that crappy little duplex, right? With that commercial looking ugly building in the back. No, that's, that's at best that's a mid row property, but it certainly could be a quick get in and get out property, right? And so let's say we bought that for 175 with five down, 170 on a note. 6% interest, long term financing. Well, that's awesome. That would work good. There's our five down, we've got that. We could probably use a credit card as a Home Depot to clean that thing up. And if we cleaned it up and sold it, what's it worth? Well, it's worth whatever the income stream says it's worth. And each side of that duplex could rent for a thousand bucks, thousand a month, two thousand dollars a month for the building, twenty-four thousand a year, take out twenty-five percent, eighteen thousand NOI, right? A year. Divide that by a 5.5 cap, what would you come up with? 327 and change, right? Okay, so it's it's worth doing and buying it at 175. If I could do a quick cleanup and get rid of it at 327, that's a decent flip. And then I've got a $170,000 note. Well, I don't want to cash that out, do I? That's long-term private money. Never cash out your cost of funds. So I want to keep that. But let's say I sold it for 320, and I took 170,000 of my cash in escrow and set it in escrow cash. Can't cash collateralize the note temporarily? Of course it can. You can always collateralize the note for cash of equal amount. But that gives me 150,000. So now I can buy this one at 750, 150 down, 600 on a note, six percent interest. And immediately when I close this, this building's worth about 930 based on the rents. So I've got some immediate equity. Now the question is this one. Look at this one. This one, this one, the third one here, 925, they owe 100,000. One, there's two owners. One seller wants all their money in cash. The other will take some of it in the form of a note, but how much, right? So you think, well, God, okay. Half of this in cash, geez, they, they've got 825 of equity in the property. This one needs 4125 of cash. That's a lot of new cash coming in. How do I do that? Right? You see how they, we pull these things apart. I know though that if I can go to a, any lender, private or otherwise, will give me 75% loan to value or loan to purchase price, whatever's less on this one, especially if it's got $8,000 of rent, working that backwards, this building's worth a million three. So, wow, 75% loan against 925? I can get that out there. Okay, well, how much is that? And I look at how much that is, which really dictates how much of that acquisition has to be in the form of a note. When you put it all together, when you put it all together, you really learn how to pull this thing apart, really learn how to deal structure it, this, this is how this deal comes out. You take the, this property that you bought, because you had the money to buy it, you sold it for 320, take 170 and set it in escrow, take 150 and put down on this building, now you own this building, it has leverageable equity, Create 250 on a note here with initial collateral, a second deed of trust here to close this in. And once you own this one, then the $170,000 note can come in collateralized by a second here. And the 170 cash comes to you once you've collateralized this cash. Your day starts. The phone isn't ringing. How much time does? It starts ringing. And when the day ends and you've figured this out, You've got 600,000 of equity left. You've got $3,000 a month of positive cash flow you didn't have. You have two trophy properties and you've got $170,000 cash in your pocket. And you did that really with knowledge, not with any of your own money. How much time?